Hello, District Assembly. Greetings, everyone. Greetings, Dr. Busick, Dr. Ian Fitzpatrick, and DS Gorge, and all of our district family and friends. This is Pastor Matt Wood from the Abbotsford Church of the Nazarene coming to you and reporting to you live from Tampa, Florida, at the site of NYC 2023 in Tampa Bay. This is, if you listen quite closely, if you listen closely, this is about as quiet as it's going to get at Nazarene Youth Conference. And so we've tucked away here just quickly to be able to report to you, uh, our district assembly, district assembly friends, about the life uh, of my dear friend, Ken Harder. Many of you will know Ken Harder. He has been someone who has been an active member of the Church of the Nazarene on our district for 80 years. He recently uh, went to be with the Lord a few, few weeks ago, and it has been a very challenging uh, and difficult time for our church family. But it has also been a chance to remember and to celebrate uh, his life. And uh, as a report uh, to you, District, uh, from your uh, pastor of the Abbotsford Church of the Nazarene, we are, we are asked to highlight uh, one person who has been impacted by the ministry of the local church this year. And we would be remiss to not mention and talk about uh, the legacy left by Ken Harder. When someone describes Ken Harder, the word that comes right away, right directly to the forefront of our minds is steadfastness. Ken has been a steady leader, lay member for 80 years at the Church of the Nazarene in Abbotsford. Steady. That means he's never too high. He's never too low. He is always maintaining a faithfulness to Jesus Christ uh, in a way that is demonstrated in his activity and in his commitment to the church and to God. I, I'm talking about Ken Harder in the middle of Nazarene Youth Conference with, with many of our teens. There are seven of us from the Abbotsford Church of the Nazarene who are attending Nazarene Youth Conference this week. And you might wonder, why is there a connection between Ken Harder and the teens? Well, Ken Harder can, has left a legacy of commitment and steadfastness uh, into uh, our local setting. And when you say leave a legacy, sometimes we think about the fact that there have been uh, memories made or activities or life commitments lived out in tangible ways that we can actually practically see. And yes, that's true. And But we say the words leave a legacy and sometimes we think, oh, and that must be just left and then that's it. And then maybe something else will come along and or someone else will come along and things will just keep moving forward. Well, in this case, it's not just a legacy left. It is a legacy that is continued. It is a legacy that is maintained. It's a legacy that uh, is structured in the great faithfulness that people can demonstrate to the church. And we're so thankful that we have an opportunity to honor Ken when we get back from NYC. It's awesome to recognize the impact that Ken has had on our church, his commitment to the Lord, uh, the way that his handprints have been on so many different projects in the life of our church this year and previous years. He's, he was steady working uh, all the way along throughout his life, visiting people who couldn't get into the services on a Sunday morning because of their ailments, making sure that they were looked after and cared for. And we're just so thankful that we are able to honor his legacy. The legacy that continues in the young people because people have noticed, people take notice of what steadfastness looks like in and through the life of Ken Harder. In fact, uh, one of the last times I got to visit Ken before he passed, he decided that he, in his little bit of energy to reach over to the table, he grabbed uh, a note that my daughter wrote to him and said, look, look at what your daughter said to me and wrote to me um, when I'm going through this difficult time. Ken always cared about the young people. He always cared about our church. And that was a pen pal program that was established uh, in the life of our church that 
connected our older folks with our young people. We're just so glad to be able to share the fact that Ken always had his eye and his heart on what was happening in the life of the church and how the kids were doing, how the teens were doing, how the adults and the older adults were doing. And we're just so thankful that the legacy lives on in the young people who, if you could only see this week, what was happening, what is happening in the life and in the hearts of our young people as they understand what it means to demonstrate steadfastness, to understand what it means to be committed and devoted to the Lord and to his church. Well, we'll be talking to you more about NYC and about the things that have happened in the life of our district youth. But as for a local report, I just want to say uh, that the Lord is, continues to be with us. And as we mourn the loss of our loved ones, like Ken, we, we do celebrate uh, the legacy that he has left because of the activity of God in and through our church. And that legacy will continue on. Take care. Have a great district assembly. Talk to you soon.